The world was as big as my imagination, which is pretty big. Only it was imaginary. We send our love from Earth. We're going to transmit to these two astronauts who are up about 220 miles up there somewhere. And I said, you know, one day there's going to be spaceships up there orbiting the Earth. Then if I said, I'm going to sing for the people up there, I'm going to meet the crews, well, they would have locked me up right there. We consider you an explorer just as we are, and we're all targeted towards the same thing, and that's ensuring a bright future for the young people in our planet. No one's ever had a wake-up call like the two astronauts on the International Space Station got this morning. They read you out there on Space Ground 2. We would like to say good evening to you all in Anaheim, California. This world of ambition and imagination. You can't imagine, you know, what's going to happen in your future. So much has happened since those days. Paul seems so aware of the journey he's taking on. It transcends age and it transcends boundaries. It does tap into your heart. It does grab something in everybody. I looked at his face and it really tells a story. Everything about his life is on his face. When you watch him, it is your life. You know, it is your life. It's your whole life. We're all in this together. It's not an us and them situation. It's all us. That's why we call it the two of us. It's like if you're a family and you're giving a party, and these are all the guests.